Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we have a given question here. Okay, and we have to calculate the total, total capacity of the reservoir. Okay, and we have a given question here, and this question is taken from the uh, world question asking Pokhara University 2018 fall. Okay, and before this video, we have already done uh, one numerical uh, related to. Uh, this type of uh, numerical okay and first let's see uh, the question uh, the base period this is uh, the base period is given over here intensity is given here and uh, duty is given here okay we have uh, three column and uh, we have to uh, given uh, cross type okay uh, that is uh, wheat sugar can cotton rice vegetable and uh, for this uh, different uh, type of crop, we have different value of base period, duty and intensity of irrigation. Okay, so you can see here for the uh, uh, wheat, uh, base period is given 120, duty is given 1800, intensity of irrigation is given 20. Okay, and for sugar can, uh, we have 360, base period, duty uh, 70, 100, intensity 20%. For cotton, base period is 180, duty 1400, intensity 10%. Rice 120, duty 800, intensity 15% for the rice. And for the vegetable, base period is 120, uh, duty 700 hectare per uh, cumic and the intensity of irrigation is 15. Okay, so this uh, is all about the given data. Okay. And uh, the duty for the various crops and the canal system are given in this table. Okay, as I, did, as I said, uh, now we have to determine the uh, reservoir capacity. We have to calculate uh, the reservoir capacity if the command area is uh, 40,000 hectare and uh, canal loss is 25% and reservoir loss is 15%. Uh, okay, so uh, these uh, two loss is also given in this question. But in previous video, we have already done uh, first numerical uh, related to uh, this type of question okay so I can sh uh, just show you here uh, before this video we have already done this numerical okay but here in this video there is uh, no given any losses okay uh, for this we just uh, calculate uh, the volume of water required for individual crops and uh, we just add uh, all this value okay but whenever we have given the canal loss we have to uh, consider this value as well okay but you can you can see in this question given canal loss 25 percent and reservoir loss is 15 percent so we have to consider this loss as well okay for this uh, we simply uh, do uh, you can see here uh, we will do uh, for this uh, loss in canal 25 percent volume of water required is taken uh, this okay we will uh, discuss further in numerical so let's see uh, solution one by one so before starting the solution if you are new to the channel please uh, do like share and subscribe the video okay and uh, if you are new to the channel please uh, press the bell icon so you will get a regular update okay and i have uploaded different uh, video related to the uh, irrigation engineering so you can visit our channel okay now uh, let's, let's start the solution of this numerical so uh, you can see here in very first step the area of each crop under irrigation is generally use this formula okay ca into uh, irrigation intensity what is ca ca is, uh, is the area Okay, considerable area is uh, CA and uh, irrigation intensity. Okay, so we have to uh, basically follow this formula. So we have to calculate for the all types of these crops individually for wheat, sugar cane, cotton, rice, and vegetable. So first we calculate for the wheat, what are required uh, for wheat equal to uh, we will uh, use this formula for the all types of uh, crops that is area by duty. Okay, and area is uh, given in the uh, position that is uh, 40,000 uh, hectare, you can see here, and uh, 
duty is given in the question okay and intensity is also given so we have to just use these two formula so what are required for which equal to area by duty and area is given 40,000 given in the question and duty for which is 120 you can see here okay duty for uh, which is 1800 okay so we have to just take this value and we have to multiply with the uh, with the intensity okay into intensity and intensity is given in the question is 20 percent so for 20 percent we have to take in decimal value 0 0.2 so uh, what are required for which equal to 4.44 meter cube per second similarly for sugar can uh, we have to uh, take this area okay this area is taken for all type of crops okay uh, so for sugar can 40,000 by uh, we have to take duty for the sugar can duty for sugar can is uh, 1700 so we take 1700 and intensity of irrigation for sugar can you can see here 20 percent so 20 percent means 0 0.20 okay then the water required for the sugar can is 4.7 meter cube per second now for the cotton 40,000 by uh, duty of cotton duty of cotton is taken uh, 1400 so 1400 into intensity of irrigation is taken 10% uh, okay so 10% means simply uh, 0 0.10 then it value become 2.85 similarly for rice 40,000 by uh, duty of rice is uh, 800 so 800 and uh, intensity 15 percent 15 percent means 0 0.15 then the water required for rice equal to 7.5 meter cube per second okay now for vegetable 40,000 by base for vegetable or uh, duty for vegetable is 700 into intensity is 15 percent 0 0.15 then water required for vegetable equal to 8.57 okay now we have to uh, calculate the total volume of water required for all types of crop okay and whenever we take uh, the volume okay we take uh, volume then we have to uh, multiply these all value with with each uh, respective uh, base period okay and for the width uh, we have to multiply 4.47 into uh, base period of width 120 so we have to multiply this value 4.44 into 120 so you can see here 4.44 into 120 this is for width now uh, we have to uh, for the sugar grain okay for sugar can you can see here 4.7 into base period of sugar can is 360 so we have to multiply these two value and add so 4.7 into 360 okay and now for the cotton you can see here cotton for base period for cotton is 180 and uh, water required for cotton is 2.85 uh, okay so we have to just uh, 2.8 into 180 similarly for rice and vegetable okay 7.5 into 7.5 into uh, 120 and uh, 8.57 into 8.57 into 120 then its value becomes uh, 8.57 into 120 after calculating these all value we get volume of water required for all types of crop equal to uh, 466.2 cumex okay cumex this is in a uh, day okay and when we multiply this value with uh, 224 into 60 into 60 then it, it value becomes in the meter cube per second okay but here you can see this is in days now since one cumic or uh, day equal to 1 into 24 into 80 meter cube then its value become 86 or uh, 400 by uh, 10 to the power 4 why we take on this this is for a hectare okay uh, as we know one hectare equal to 10 to the power 4 meter okay then its value becomes 8.64 in hectare meter okay we are converting this value in hectare meter simply and total uh, volume of water required equal to uh, 466.2 that we have calculated total volume of uh, water required equal to 466.2 uh, cumic a day 
okay and now we have to multiply this value with a cumic day that is uh, 8.64 then it value becomes in hectometer okay so 40315 uh, hectometer okay and uh, this value is both are total volume of water required but this is in hectometer and in previous uh, this is in cumic days okay so this is the basic difference now we have also given losses uh, since losses in canal is 25 percent so the volume of water required at head of a canal is and now we have also given the losses okay that is uh, losses in canal is 25 percent and on the reserve wire loss is 15 percent okay so we have to consider these losses as well so uh, whenever the 25 percent loss then simply means uh, we have to uh, remain uh, total uh, volume equal to 100 minus 25 percent then remaining equal to 85 percent it's already 25 after 75 okay then volume of water requires a head of canal we have to take 75 percent okay and we have to uh, divide with 75 percent of uh, total volume of water required okay that means simply uh, this value by uh, we have to do 75 percent okay so uh, total value is uh, uh, 40315 as you calculated and uh, by 75 percent means 75 by 100 okay so this value is 100 and this value uh, goes off so this value becomes like this and after calculating this value we get 537 53.33 hectare meter okay this is in hectare meter and also given in the question 15 percent is it wild or losses so we have to also consider consider uh, this loss okay so after uh, 15 percent uh, a 15 percent of result wild loss then remaining uh, uh, remaining is uh, 100 minus uh, 15 mil simply 85 percent okay so similarly this we have to uh, divide by 85 percent okay after uh, after calculating these losses uh, canal loss 25 percent okay so we have to uh, divide this value with uh, this 85 percent so 537353 uh, by 85 percent so this we have to convert 85 percent in decimal so 85 by 100 and this value which goes up so uh, the value becomes uh, 6240 hectometer okay so in this way uh, we can calculate the total uh, capacity of uh, uh, reserve wide uh, considering on the canal loss and uh, reserve wide loss as well okay so we have done uh, these uh, two types of different different types of numerical okay that is uh, if given the canal loss and reserve wide loss and if there is not given this loss okay uh, before this video we have already done the numerical in that numerical there was no given any losses okay so if you do these two types of numerical and, uh, one was uh, in uh, previous video in last video this numerical okay in that numerical there is nothing given uh, like losses okay so after calculating these two calculating the total desired of uh, these two types of numerical you can calculate any type of uh, reservoir capacity okay so total reservoir capacity okay so i hope uh, you guys are understand well thank you very much see you in next video please uh, do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update thank you very much see you in next video